So you just got a motor that has no specs and you're trying to control it. How do you figure out the KV and pull pairs of your motor? Let's find out. If you're new here, make sure to check out the links in the video description and subscribe to learn more robotics and AI. To find the pull pairs is pretty easy. You take the number of magnets and you divide it by two. So in this case, we have eight divided by two, which is four. So we have four pull pairs. One thing to note is that the magnets are the things on the side. The coils are the ones that have the wires turned in circles several times. So one comment on the terminology. So here, the number four means pull pairs, right? The eight here means the number of poles. So depending on what type of motor controller you're using, sometimes they'll ask for poles or pull pole pairs. So don't confuse the two. Now to find the KV, this is what you can do. Normally when you find the KV, the main goal is to find the torque constant. So what you could do is spin the motor at constant speed. You could do this by connecting a known motor to your unknown motor with some shaft coupling and set it to some known RPM. Once you do that, you can measure the RMS voltage for one of the phases for your unknown motor. Then you're gonna have KV equals RPM divided by that voltage. And then your torque constant KT will be 8.27 divided by KV. So you might be wondering where does the 8.27 come from? So if you do a power balancing between the mechanical and electrical power and substitute everything, we're gonna do some conversion for the KV between radians per second and RPM. So if you go through all the steps, you're gonna end up getting the 8.27 by doing these conversions. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.